Classes are canceled at Belton High School tomorrow because of the deadly stabbing on campus today. A close family friend tells Fox 44 News that Jose Joe Ramirez died after being stabbed this morning. Police confirm the suspect is in custody and the investigation is ongoing. Fox 44's Mally Jones, she went to the school today and spoke with parents and students about the incident. She joins us now in the newsroom. Mally. Yeah, Adam, it all happened this morning in the boys' bathroom. Police say an altercation occurred between the two, and the suspect is identified as Kason Tyler Allison. They say he ran away from the school, and the police were able to find him shortly after. Belton police say the suspect is 18 year old Kason Tyler Allison. He is being held in the Bell County Jail on a third degree felony. Police say students were involved in an altercation that led to a student being stabbed. Also, they believe it was an isolated incident, but the school went into lockdown and students stayed in their classrooms as a precaution. Ian Rodriguez is a senior at Belton High School and says he was outside when it all happened. Everybody was like scared. And, uh, Everything was on Snapchat, so we just kind of looked at our phones. Everybody was just holding around and talking about it. He says he wasn't expecting his day to go like this. The kid that, that happened the problem, he was like right next to me in first period. We were having fun and everything. Lynette Batts graduated from Belton High School in 1980 and says they never had these things happen. It's really sad because it's, I don't know, I think maybe we might have to have a little bit more security. I'm not really sure. It's just a different time. Batts has two grandchildren who go to the school and is thankful they are okay, but sad about how the entire school is affected. I feel bad for the, the victim. I feel bad for the, the person that did it because no, none of those, either scenario is going to be good. Ailey Gaines is also a graduate and parent of Belton High School kids. She says she is praying for both the victim and the suspect. Not only what's going on here, just what's going on in the world. And it's, it's crazy that it's trickled down to. Belton, Texas. Principal Ben Smith said in a letter to parents, quote, I appreciate the swift actions of the Belton Police Department. I also want to thank our students and staff for their cooperation. I am so proud of our students and how they have responded thus far. Belton High School, Belton Police, parents, students, even the mayor are all saying the same thing, that their hearts, their thoughts, and their prayers are going out to those affected. In the newsroom, Mally Jones, Fox 44 News.